Hey, what's up guys? I'm O'Keefe. Welcome to this video. So today I've got a special video for you where I'm going to be walking through the progression stages to develop your pulling, your pushing, as well as your dip strength. Now, if you're having trouble arriving at your first pull-up, push-up or dip, then this is definitely going to be a great video for you to watch. So we're going to be covering how to start a pull-up from the Australian pull-ups right up to doing the full pull-ups. So it's important that you guys develop your foundation strength properly and correctly because it's going to help you advance much quickly in calisthenics to more advanced exercises. So you need to have that foundation strength. Now, this video is going to be split into three parts. So we're going to start off, we're going to go with the pull up, then we're going to work towards the dips and then we're going to finally arrive at the push up. So enough talking. Right. All right, guys, welcome to this video. So today we're going to be covering how to develop your pushing and your pulling strength. So we're going to be using the pull up bar as well as the parallel bars for this illustration. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate what a pull up looks like. So that was the pull up. Now, the pull up can be a very challenging exercise if it's your first time, but how to start doing pull ups is going to be from the very first progression, level one, to the Australian. So, we're going to use the parallel bars for this illustration. Let's head on over. Okay, so now we're at the parallel bars. Now, why is the parallel bars the place to start? Well, it's because of the height and the angle much lower than the actual pull-up bar and that we're going to be using less of our body weight. Alright, so we're going to get into the position of how to do an Australian pull-up. Come down, make sure that your body is straight from your ankle all the way up to your neck. You're going to have your feet together and your body straight. So you're not going to be dropping like this or arching your back like so. Make sure you're in the very middle and your body is straight. Once you've got this form, you to make sure that you practice proper and correct form guys. It's going to take you a long way. Once you have your proper form, you're going to keep your head straight and you're just going to pull your body up. Right up and then we're going to come right back down.
try guys so that was open close wide so you want to start wrapping these progressions up and really really wrap them up so once you're able to do at least 20 in a row without fatigue you're going to work your way up to like 50 in a row without fatigue and once you've mastered those you'll be ready to start learning your first pull up all right Now we're on the pull-up bar, we're at a much higher height and you should have built up enough foundation strength to start this next progression. So the next progression we're going to go towards is going to be the jump and pull-up. So I'm going to demonstrate how that's supposed to look. That was the jump and pull up. So you want to rep these out and get comfortable with holding your body and getting used to your grip. So you want to make sure you be having a firm grip, which is going to allow you to progress to the next stage of this exercise. Right. So once you've got comfortable with the jump and pull ups, you're going to move towards the pole. Okay. So shoulders forward and then slightly back. Jump. We're gonna hold. Now, if you feel like you can hold for five seconds, go for five. If you can feel you can go for a ten, you're gonna go for a ten. And when you're ready, you just come back down. But it's important, like I said, to listen to your body. So just go with whatever number that you feel that you can do, and then you wanna stick with that number. So those are the pull-ups for. Once you've wrapped this up for a while, combined with the Australian pull-up strength that we acquired at the beginning of this video, you should now be ready to start your first actual pull-up. So, your first pull-up should look something like so. Bring your shoulders forward, head back. Grab the bar. Slightly tuck your knees back as you do the jump. So this exercise is similar to the jumping pull-ups. Alright, so you gotta remember guys, some of the exercises from before, such as the Australian pull-ups and the pull-up itself, all the strength is gonna directly translate to other exercises such as the dips and many more. Okay. So the next progression we're going to get into is going to be the other jumping dip but we're going to keep our legs straight this time. So we're going to go up. You just want to hold your body weight just for a mere second. Just back to the floor. Okay, so once you've been repping that out for a while, you'll be ready to move on to the next progression which is going to be the jump with a hold. So it should look something like so. Hold your body weight for as long as you feel comfortable. And when you're ready, you just want to follow the movement all the way back down to the floor. Okay, I'm going to go again. Alright, so those was your progressions progressing towards your first perfect dip. Okay, so once you've mastered all of these progressions, you can start moving on to more advanced exercises with the dip. You can customize, so you can do some stuff like changing legs, switching up, some moving dip. 
times. All right, guys. Welcome to lesson two of body basics. So, in this video, we're going to be working on our shoe strength from the push up position. All right. So let's get started. So the very first progression that we're going to be working on today is going to be knee push up. All right. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Push up clap, or you can move on to stuff like the arches and so 